What do you think happens tonight for the Caps in this must-win situation? Sure, it's not an elimination game, but if they fall behind 3-1 to one to the Maple Leafs, it pretty much seems like it's over. It's over. EB yep. said he won't even tune in. I Coach, think Toronto's going to win this game. Tonight. Coach Trot yeah. said, expect to see our best game. Now, what else is he going to say? I mean, you could throw that out, but he seems confident. Although he did now, look how will I know? In game three. Can someone tweet me? Because I won't know. I'll be honest, I'm not that sophisticated. If Trot abandons his line strategy of trying to match their lines and just play our best effing players, like what Alan May was suggesting yesterday, will someone tweet me during the game and tell me if he's doing that or not? Because well, I we'll frankly be don't understand. Oh, tell Ovi on the ice with Lars Eller. That's too much flying around for me to tell. Ovi on the ice with you know Brett Connolly. I don't understand I barely, the game as well as you I, do. I can barely yeah. tell I who's on the ice. I can't. Tell I just yeah, watched the puck. Joe just B tell me. Joe B if, will tell you. Joe B will tell you. Well, can someone can uh, can a sophisticated fan tell me, John DePompa tweet me and tell me <laughs> if Trot? You need a tweet. Just if, listen to Joe B. I'm not sure that he'll say the. Do you, John DePompa's listening to me. He knows what I'm looking for. Tell me during the first period if you see an adjustment by Trot, because I am not sophisticated enough to know. I'm, there I'm there has honest. to be a slight adjustment. I don't I'm think sure be, he will be making them. It won't be but, major. It'll be but slight. will he make the adjustment that he's just going to? Alan Obi's May suggested. Oh, he's not going to play 25 minutes. Okay, <clears throat> maybe 19, no 20, 21 is better than 15. But the point is, stop just trying to stop letting him run our lineup. I'm buying into Alan May's analysis, right? So we just got to play our best. Yeah, but our guys are better than top to bottom on yeah. paper. Yeah, our, our third line. So our third line should be better than their third line. Our fourth line should be better than their fourth line. Well, it ain't working. It's not. You're Eric, right. aren't you just hedging yourself emotionally because... No, I'm, just, I'm telling you everything I honestly believe. You know the Caps are... Better. I don't believe they are and in this series. And you believe they're going to win this game. You know they're going to win this I game. I swear to you on my children, I have no... It's a 50-50 at best. <laughs> I've watched all three games. They're all overtime squeakers. How could I possibly say I know they're going to win the well, game? I they, hope they win the game. And they could if they lose the game, th it's going to be awful. Zippy. They could be up three zippy, too. Sure, sure well, they can. But if, but I, I, I think if believe. you ask reasonable people, they would tell you that the Caps uh, have been outplayed overall in the series. I don't believe they're going to win. Well, I know, but that's because you want to win money on Toronto. He's telling no, you I what he wanna, believes. I don't want to win money on Toronto. Do you think I want Toronto to win the series? Nothing to talk about with the cap season the rest of the year? I know, but over over a seven-game series, the majority <clears throat> of the time, the better team is going to win. And everyone is in full-blown panic mode right now because of what's happened in the past. But if, if, if we believe in. in trots and we've said all year long, let's wait to the playoffs, let's see how these things shake out, it's not over yet. It's 2-1. They I could didn't come say out it was tonight. over yet. They could Hold come out tonight and smoke them. And then what if I said the entire time? Are you not listening? It's 50-50 in my opinion. But if they win, it, it's a reset. And then, you know, you, you go on. Who knows? Who knows what will happen in the Pittsburgh series, even though they look, you know, we lose them all the time and they look, you know, rested and everything. Uh, what, what, is Vegas 50-50? I don't care about Vegas. I'm watching the games and I'm giving you my perspective. My perspective is we've been outplayed overall in this series. Right with you, or Drab, wrongly. I think they win tonight. But do you Drab, th who, do you Drab, who do you think Drab, has played better in this series? I think it's been pretty close. Drabby, okay, are, you you paying attention, are you paying attention to what's going on with the, the other Maple teams in this, in this playoff? Do you understand what's going on with Chicago? Yeah, down three zip. Do you understand what's going on with the Wild? Yeah, weird down things happen. Zip. Right, but you're right. saying that the majority of the time the better seed wins. Okay, but th these teams are proven this year that that's not right. That's not happening. The better teams aren't winning. Those teams are also not the uh, best regular season team in the NHL. I have faith that the Caps are going to pull close. together. They're pretty close. Chicago had up 50 wins. I don't Minnesota understand. Every time, every time Toronto scores, everyone says, puck luck, puck luck, puck luck. And now the Caps are down 2-1, two, two and everyone's saying Toronto's the better team. I don't I'm get not sure it. Every time I've, I've never said, sure every time I've never puck, said luck. puck luck. I've never said I've heard, puck I've heard, I've heard, I see it every time they score a goal, lucky goal by Toronto, lucky goal. Well, I didn't, I've never said that. Those are homers. They're not they're lucky one goals. Or two. I mean, they're they're creating bounces. traffic. If you've played yeah. nine periods plus with the overtimes, you know, they call it 11 periods, whatever it's been, and you're up in the series, that's not puck luck. That's crap. I don't believe in puck luck. All right, let's go to the phones. They're beating 800 636 1067. Lurch believes mm. they lose and will fall behind 3 1 in the series. I'm going to give them a win, come back with home ice. I think somehow they're going to find themselves in the second round against Pittsburgh. And then really it'll be, and then I think every series has its own dynamic. Sure. And I, and I truly believe in survive in advance. Yep. So I'm not saying. Just because they look, they're 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 up against it now that they're guaranteed if they survive if they survive 
they might really get some momentum and, and then feel like they're free rolling. But that I'm can an really optimist. have a psychological advantage. Yeah, I'm an optimist huge. generally. Tonight's huge on both, both I, fronts. I thought the Redskins were going to be in the playoffs this past year. I mean, I'm an optimist. You know, and then yeah, you're they, an optimist. They, they wet the bed the last couple of games. You're an optimist, and I'm not saying the past is why they're going to lose. But I think the past is a, is a factor that is is it's there. It's this kind of devil in the corner that you do the have past to sort is of prologue. You, I don't even know what that means, but you have to overcome it. You still have to overcome it, even though you know it's just this little devil in the corner that you still have to beat somehow. In my mind, and I guess I'm the only one that thinks this way. It's a game seven tonight, okay? Because if they lose. If you, if you really can come, call in and have confidence that they can, sure, they can come back for 3-1. Teams have done it. But if you really think that that is something that the Caps will do, then I think you're an extreme minority. In my opinion, this is a game seven for the Caps.